Heavenly Father, how wonderful is your unfailing love for your people, your anointed ones whom you have set apart and consecrated to be your very own. Your eye is ever upon these favored ones. They have the full attention of your omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent care. For you have been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in distress, a refuge from the storm, and a shade from the heat. Father, keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. O Lord, you encircle your people and instruct them. You keep your people as the apple of your eye. As an eagle stirs up its nest, hovers over its young, spreading out its wings, taking them up, and carrying them on the wing. You do not forsake your children or leave them alone. On the contrary, like a mother bird caring for her young, you tuck them under the safety and shade of your wing, protecting, providing, watching over and guiding your people to the promised land of deepening intimacy and fellowship with the Father. If only we would keep your words and treasure your commands within us, keeping your commands so we will live, and your law is the apple of our eye, binding them on our fingers and writing them on the tablet of our heart. Then you will shape us into a mighty weapon, like your servant Savior, who with your word will conquer the whole earth. He has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand he has hidden me and made me like a polished shaft. In his quiver he has hidden me from the wicked who assail me, from my mortal enemies who surround me. Our enemies are great that surround us, from without and from within. They aim their arrows with the goal of taking our life. For the enemy has come only to steal and to kill and to destroy. They close up their callous hearts and their mouths speak with arrogance. Their bellies are full, but their hearts are empty of any love for you for they only love themselves and all that they can get from this world. They have tracked me down. They now surround me with eyes alert to throw me to the ground. How vigilantly they watch our every move, waiting for just the right moment to catch us in their traps, which is usually when we aren't paying attention or when we're at our weakest and most vulnerable state. They are like a lion hungry for prey like a great lion crouching for cover, like a roaring lion and a charging bear is a wicked ruler over poor people. Their abominable appetites crave human flesh and blood and they long for the next kill. They are like their father, the devil, whom they worship so loyally, that old deluder Satan who walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Please help us good and faithful shepherd, to keep close to your side, where we are the safest, under your protection and care. Help us to be sober and vigilant, so we can resist the enemy of our soul's cunning and cruel attacks, and remain ever steadfast in the faith. Rise up, O Lord, confront them, bring them down, rescue me from the wicked by your sword. One look from your blazing eyes, one utterance of your word, and the battle will be over before it has even begun. No one can stand up to the majesty of heaven when you wield your mighty sword. O oh Lord, by your hand save me from such men, from men of this world whose reward is in this life. You still the hunger of those you cherish. Their sons have plenty, and they store up wealth for their children. Like Sodom, they have fullness of food and abundance of idleness, but do not think with all their wealth and influence to strengthen the hand of the poor or needy. They build up their storehouses like that rich young fool who built larger barns to store all his goods, never thinking for a moment to lay his treasures up in heaven where moth and rust will not destroy. Then they pass on an inheritance of diamonds in the sand that sifts quickly through the hands of the next generation. What a tragic legacy they leave behind. How foolish are they who lay up treasures for themselves, but are not rich toward God. Thank you, our great King, 
for opening your spiritual treasury to us purely out of your grace. You have bestowed upon your humble servants the richest affair. Though we have little of the world, we have much of you. There is no greater treasure our hearts could desire. For behold the glorious crown of the church, Jesus Christ, the eternal word, the Lord of lords and King of kings. You are the royal diadem upon our head. How perfect and precious are the eyes you have given us to see the world around us from the perspective of our all-wise, all-seeing, all-powerful head. Lord, protect and preserve our vision so that each day we can bask upon the beauty of your glorious face. And I, in righteousness, I will see your face. When I awake, I will be satisfied with seeing your likeness. O oh, blessed morning, when he is revealed, when we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. There is not a sight more wonderful to behold in all the world. May your marvelous countenance be upon your trusting child. May the Lord bless us and keep us and make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. In you, Lord Jesus, we are completely satisfied. In your mighty and beautiful name we pray, amen.